What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and Planner, and we're going to look at the list buckets action for Planner. So buckets in Planner are a way to sort of categorize work, so you can kind of put things in various columns and drag and drop um, or assign uh, different tasks to those buckets. Uh, I use this all the time when I uh, do any project work inside Planner um, so I can, um, so for smaller projects where I can just put things into different things like uh, product backlog items, UAT, customer signed off, um, you know, all those sorts of uh, categories. So it's a really handy way for you to categorize your data. Uh, and in this video, we're going to show you how to list all of those different actions, all those different buckets. So I'm in Power Automate here, I'm in a flow, and I have a manual trigger to start this flow. If I click on New Step, and then type into the search bar Planner, pulls up the Planner connection, and I can click on that, and then I get a list of actions, and the one I'm going to choose is this one down here that says List Buckets. It's going to ask me for two things. It's going to ask me for my group ID and my plan ID. So the group ID is the ID that the plan belongs to. So um, if you're in, if you have multiple environments or if you have multiple security groups um, that can be used to sort of differentiate different plans, uh, that's what you'll see in here. So I can click on that and choose Power, Power Automate Plan because that's the name of the plan that I have here. Um, and plan ID uh, is the actual ID of the plan itself. So again, mine's just called Power Automate Plan. Um, now, before I hit save and we test this, I'm going to flick over to plan to show you the buckets that I've got. So uh, this is the unassigned view, so the wrong one. So if I choose this and choose bucket, I can see a list of my buckets. So I've got to do uh, and I've also got um, Power Automate videos. So these are two different buckets and I can add tasks into these uh, and you can see and then I can like differentiate, right? These are the things that I have to do. These are the Power Automate videos I want to make um, this week and these are like other things. You know, I can add a new one, new one in here for like blog articles or something like that. Uh, let's do that. Let's type blog articles. Uh, and then we've got three buckets. So we've got to do, Power Automate videos, and blog articles. So let's flick over to Power Automate. And let's test this out. So we click on test. I'll perform the trigger action. Save and test. Uh, we'll run the flow. Click done. Green banner, all good. Flow around successfully. If we expand list buckets, we can see what our output is. So our output here is a JSON object containing all of the um, all of the the different buckets. So the first one at the top is blog articles. So that's that new bucket that we just added in. We get the ID of the plan. Um, we get the ID of the bucket as well. Then we have Power Automate videos. And then we have to do. So this lists out the three uh, the three buckets that I've got. So I could use this to um, to sort of like what I could do is I could make copies of existing plans. So uh, I said I do a lot of planner work with like smaller projects that I do. So I may need to have those same uh, bucket titles and, and buckets created. What I could do is I could um, point this to an existing plan that I have list of buckets, then I could use a create bucket uh, action to then go off and create uh, new buckets based on that. So that would be one cool use case that I could uh, I could use for this. Uh, but as always, I'd like to know what you guys would use this for. Let me know in the comments down below or connect with me on Twitter or LinkedIn or let me know uh, what you use this for. Um, it's got a lot of lot of potential in terms of like listing things out um, and getting some details out of it. So uh, I'm always looking to learn and to grow. So please let me know. Uh, if you did like this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.